Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. We managed to successfully get out of the crypt last time, so uh, we are out and about back again on the island. Uh, and now we're going to just wander around and see what to do. I've, I've got an idea of what we've got to do, um, and that involves the, the mansion. Uh, but first, I want to check out the, um, the spiderweb thing in Stan's crypt, because I'm sure there is an easter egg to do with this. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. This, uh, this here. I'm sure there's some sort of easter egg with this. I wonder where the spider that spun that web is. I'm afraid it would stick to my hands. Yeah, so I don't know if it's a case of, like, you having to go in and out of the... the building or something, maybe? Welcome back to Mutual of Stab. I, mean, I don't know how many times you have to do this. It's slightly annoying that Stan delivers that Welcome line. Welcome back to Mutual of Stab. Because that really slows it down, doesn't it? <laughs> Which is a bit irritating. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. I see what guys, I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll cut back when we actually get something. Oh there we go, look! It's Maggie from um the dig. Oh that's a really cool little Easter egg. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh that was worth it. Wait, why are we over here now? What the hell? Okay, fair enough. That was cool. I like that. Hopefully some of you guys enjoy that and it was worth doing that because I'll be honest, I never want to hear Stan say about Welcome to the Mutual of Stan ever again. Um, oddly enough, he only said it some of the time. Like, after I'd done that, I don't know how many times, it was it was a bit random whether or not he said it when you walk in. Sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he does. Um, we hey, want to go... what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Yeah, we're back. Who wants to hear about it? Nobody. Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good yeah, story. Yeah, screw you guys. It's a good story. Alright, so we want to go into here. Can we... do something Gross. here? We've got... I think... can we do something to this? The Murphy bed is slammed up so many times it's made a hole in the wall. Yeah, okay, so... I wonder if we can, like, take these... I can't use the mallet with that. ...off? Uh, maybe the crowbar? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we've got a gaping hole now. Yeah, I can now. see the good soup crypt from here. Okay, so ah, so we can see the crypt. So, can we put the bed away? Because if he keeps hitting this, he's going to go through the hole, right? Mm, no. No? Okay. Looks comfortable. Do we maybe have to, like, crowbar it up? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's got the bed sheets like a parachute. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. We did it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. I was just Charles. Charles de Goulash. Is it really you? Minnie, it's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. <laughs> really? Why, you look exactly the same. <laughs> oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Ah, don't worry about that. Minnie. This may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Hello? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Yeah. Oh. Marry me. Yes, Charles. Yes. A thousand times. Yes. Then kiss me, my love. Ah. <laughs> Aha. Oh, we just appeared here. Okay, fair enough. Well, engagement band. That's what we need. Didn't think we were going to get it by doing that, actually. It looks like it's just about Elaine's size. 
but it needs a diamond to be complete. <clears throat> yeah, so we need a diamond to complete it. But we've got the band at least, so now we just need to find a diamond. Um, I think, think it may be time to go to Skull Island. Not sure if there's anything else we need to do here. And maybe. Oh! Somewhere beneath Monkey Island. Uh oh. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. She's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats. Hunt them down, then bring them to me. <laughs> Find me Guy Rush Drinkwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride. And more slaw! Yeah, more slaw. They never give you enough slaw with these value meals. <laughs> I love that line, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, well, the story has progressed. Brilliant. I think now if we go to the beach, we can um speak to the flying Welshman and maybe go? I don't know if we have to pay him though. Do we have anything to pay him with? Mm, maybe not. Let's, let's, let's just talk to him anyway. Uh, I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I told you not until I get a compass. Oh, yeah. You find me one. I'll take you to Skull Island. Okay, yeah, so we need to do this. Uh, Amazing Purple Girl was saying that we actually have what we need to do the compass. Um, and I'm sure it's like... The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Okay, so we need something to make it float. So do we have anything which can float? I can't use the cushion with that. No, not that. Um, Fridro make scissors, skeleton arm literature uh maybe the thing from this because there's a, a cork it's in there a corked bottle of shaving soap yeah can we i can't pull the cork out with my hands oh we're gonna need like a cork screw or something maybe so we can use this i can't use the crowbar with that no okay so let's try this i can't use the chisel with that no can we just... I don't want to pin that. No. Okay, so... We can't use the arm? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. No. So we're going to need a corkscrew, I'm guessing. We don't have one, though. Or unless we can, like, just... Whoop. Unless we can use this. I don't want to lubricate that. No. Okay. Um... I mean, the only place would surely be the bar in here, right? Has this guy got a corkscrew? I don't see where else it would be. I mean, assuming it is a corkscrew. Uh, can we just, like, give it to him? I don't think he'd like that. No. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a corkscrew. I mean, maybe that isn't what we need. It's entirely possible. Is there anything in here? Hey, what's this now? Death certificate. This hereby certifies that... P. Hamilton, good soup, met his demise, at least once, on Blood Island. Okay, we can take that. Can we give that to Stan? To, like, claim the policy, maybe? Oh, maybe we can. Alright, well, let's forget the um, corkscrew idea for just for a minute and see what we can do with this. Don't say it, Stan. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. I hate you so much. Um, right. Uh, we're dead, so can we claim our insurance? Is that a thing? I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. Yeah. But this is a life insurance policy. Yeah. You collect when the policyholder dies. I did die. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Yeah. Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. That's right. Oh, 
This must be some kind of mistake. Read it and weep. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I die. Give me a lot of money. Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there we go. And now we're rich. Look at all this insurance money. This is a lot of money. Okay, so that's fine. So how are we going to get this cork from here, though? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't, can't cut it I don't out. Want to cut no. it. Okay, can't cut it out. Can we... Can't do, like, the... Oh, we can do the teeth thing. We don't need a corkscrew. Did we try that earlier? I don't know. But anyway. So do we use the pin on on the cork then? Okay. Okay, good. And then this goes into the water. Hey, neat, it points north. Science hey! Fun when you know the secret. We've done it. Okay, nice. Alright, back to the flying Welshman. Flying Welshman. Um, do we just, what do we do? Just give him the compass, or do we, let's try giving him the compass. Oh, we're doing really well in this one. We're off to Skull Island, hopefully, now. Here, take this compass. This is a compass? Will it work? Yeah, probably. Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Science. Eh, it was nothing. Alright, let's go. I don't think there's anything else to do here. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. Alright, let's go. Actually, it's quite lucky that we, um... We went back to Stans and did that, because I guess at some point we would have had to come back and claim that insurance policy, so... I'm guessing we did something ahead of time there. I can't remember what, but... Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Oh, really? Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of Skull Island. <gasps> it's horrific. That's a duck. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? No. This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Yeah. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, Not seeing it's it. It's so scary. Not seeing it. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a... <laughs> it does. Well, anyway, <laughs> see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. Ah. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. You don't say. His nefarious assistant, Cruff. Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. Why would he come with us? There will be come someone on, there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Right. Good luck. It's a weird comparison. Hey. All right, well, off we go. Hey, it's a winch operator. I bet he can help me find the smuggler's cave. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we've got a rickety elevator. It's a hand-cranked elevator. Okay. Can we... We've got a cliff face? There's a cave down there in the cliff face. Okay, so we're going to have to use this to get down there then. Um, what happens if we go this way? Does this just take us back down to the main bit? Yeah, it does. So cliff side, cliff top. Where does cliff side take us? I still say it looks like a duck. <laughs> it does. Oh, does that literally just let us look at that? Okay. I guess if we come down here, we can just go back. Yeah, okay. Looks like it. And then this is where we need to get into. All right, cliff top it is. Uh, winch operator, hello. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No, 
Oh. Never well. used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I mean, I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Okay. Um, would you lower me down to the cave? Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than say, twenty pounds, right? Uh, actually, more like a hundred twenty. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this? Oh yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Hundred and twenty pounds is is, is really light. <laughs> Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops. Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Okay, we can do stuff here. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh man. Okay, so I wonder if there's like an item that we can use there. Let's see if we've got anything. Maybe we can use the umbrella to like catch the wind. Um, anything else? We've still got this shaving soap. Maybe the helium balloon? I'm thinking it's probably going to be the helium balloon or, or using this umbrella to like provide some resistance but i tell you what guys we're out of time so we'll try and figure this out in the next one so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate Temley nerdy paul from the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge hobo numinous kumadim paul leone flossy the sheep john con 555 chrissy and paul james and i'll see you next time